Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about deflection. Here our concentration is to find the mid span deflection of a simply supported beam by double integration methods. So this is a beam. It has I mean it is carrying uniformly distributed loads which is W kilonewton per meters. Whenever a beam is loaded like this one it deflects from its original positions and there are two design criteria for the deflection of a beam and it is strength and stiffness. As per the strength criteria of the beam design, it should be strong enough to resist bending moment and shear. This is in terms of strength criteria. But in terms of stiffness criteria or as per the stiffness criteria of the beam design, it should be stiff enough to resist the deflection of the beam. This is very important point to understand. W it is uniformly loaded so W multiplied by L it is the total load and it is divided on both supports so it will be WL by 2 RA equal to RB it's very easy to calculate here I have taken a section X to find the moment at this section. So to find the moment at this section we can write mx equal to wlx by 2 minus wx square by 2. It's very easy to get because wl by 2 is the reactions here multiplied by x. This is the thing and this is w multiplied by x and half of this distance so wx square by 2 now this mx we have to write this because as i told i want to use double integration methods so this mx i will replace it by d square y by dx square but how it comes from strength of materials, we know that M by I equal to E by R. So M equal to E I 1 by R. This is the important thing. The curvature, it is D square Y by DX square. So this right hand side, I want to write this total format for this M. So what will be the equation then? So, M is replaced by this. Now, as it is second derivative, to bring it to first derivative, I mean dy by dx, or it is a slope also, so I must do integrations. So, in that case, doing integrations, this becomes as dy by dx, I mean slope, and one constant will be added. Now we need to find this constant using boundary conditions. So let's see what it is. x equal to L by 2, then dy by dx equal to 0. So let's see in the next slide how to use this.
So I got this because dy by dx it was on the left side I put here 0 and here it was x x so I put L by 2. Now the equation will take the shape as this one. So easily we can find C1. Got it. Now I want to place this C1 in the previous equation what we have seen in the previous slides. So let's bring that. This is the equation. Now this value I will put this for C1. So our equation appears as this. This is the value for C1. Multiplying this, it takes this form. So, this is the equation and it is here. This is slow. But our target is to find the deflection. Deflection means I have to do again integration to get y. So, let's see in the next slide. This is the equation just taking w by 24 out it takes this factor and the w by 24 is outside. So now we have to do integration again as I told we need to convert this dy by dx it is a slope we want to get this as a deflection. So what it comes? look at now it is y as i did integration there will be another constraints now using boundary conditions i have to find this value for c2 using these boundary conditions y equal to 0 when x equal to 0 y equal to 0 when x equal to l because here and here these two ends deflection is zero now substituting this we get c2 equal to zero from here we get c2 equal to zero Now this C2 already we got 0. So what is the shape of the equation now? So the, our equation was this. If we put here 0, remaining will be this part. So let's see the or let's write the equation. So this is the equation. Now I want to bring this EI here because I want to keep only the deflection term on the left hand side. Only Y. So it will take the shape as this one so now I will accordingly I will draw the deflected shapes so look at deflected shapes it is here and this is here so what is the thing I did here maximum deflection occurs at mid span where x equal to l by 2 so at L by 2, this is my deflection. This is the deflected curve. So this was our equation. So if I put L by 2 here, L by 2 on X, X and X equation comes 5W L to the power 4 by 384 EI. This is the deflection at the mid span here. This is the value. And this equation we can call the equation of the deflected shape of the beam. This equation. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.
环境。